Hey everybody, it's Justin, your guide in to Web3, and we're going to recap three crucial pieces of news this week. We're going to wrap up the week with three updates. You know, we got one from Azuki, you know, with regards to the episode one of their new anime series. And then we also had, you know, an update from other side meta with regards to uh, the MeBits event that's coming pretty soon here. Just MeBits in the metaverse, just a quick update. And then we're also going to go over one of my favorite projects too, you know, the Forgotten Runiverse and the Forgotten Runes Wizard Cult. So we'll kind of go over all those things and just kind of recap the week. So enter the garden. Episode one releases April 30th. So we got a nice 49 second clip. I actually have not had a chance to watch this. I've been blasted this past week. Four hours of sleep. It's bull market time. Um, well, maybe not today where we're kind of dipping like a lot, <laughs> but we're going to watch this trailer and just get into it. So why don't we take a look, see what we got on the board. Densu. Oh yeah. That's big. Oh wow. Okay. Yo. One Piece film ret. Oh my gosh. Dang, we got Azuki in anime. Okay, the beans. Yep, the red beans. Oh, are we gonna see some fight scenes in this? Oh yeah, the eye looks amazing. Episode one, The Waiting Man. Wow, okay. Okay, the eye animations are mm, on point. Oh wow, that was that was quick. Holy moly. Okay, so we just got we just saw some sneak peeks of like the uh, the the environments, the the, the city. <laughs> I don't know what to expect, guys. But hey, we got a pretty uh, pretty nice trailer to take a look at. I like the animation. Um, got some big studios here. So the uh, you know episode one creative team is compo uh, composed of Junichi Yamamoto, who oversaw the animation section of the blockbuster console game The Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. Kino Nishimura, who is in charge of the character design of the famed Street Fighter series, and Akari Kito and the Tomokazu Sugita as vo voice actors. Okay, wow. So we have The Waiting Man as episode one. Um, and then our mission to bring Azuki IP to the masses start with a three-part anthology series that onboards top anime industry talent to Web3. So again, this allows us to work with a with creative, uh, different creative teams for each episode, exposing anime veterans to a completely new uncharted production process that stems from a community-owned IP and storytelling. So over time, we will continue to iterate and improve on this novel process where the creative teams can deliver unique stories and expressions of the IP while the community is rewarded for owning and participating in know co-creating the world essentially right so the anthology series is just the beginning of the web3 anime journey so again azuki is running in their lane they are expanding the way that they can with regards to empowering their user base and breaching into the mainstream so you know just like board apes you know with what they got going on with other side as well as the board Ape yacht club azuki has their own thing with regards to the garden and their ip so that's very exciting to see very nice update I like seeing the trailer I like seeing everything with regards to that and it's going to be awesome to see how that moves forward. So why don't we move on to the next thing? Speaking of Board Ape Yacht Club and Yuga Labs, we have a quick update behind the scenes from MeBits How To. So um, we know that uh, the 1.3 version, I believe, and a certain activation is coming in the spring, slated for spring. And you say you want to see at MeBits in the metaverse. Study this. God, the study this meme is just all over this. Study this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm memeing aside, memeing aside, I don't actually mean that. Um, step one, assess the situation. Step two, realize me bits are too dense to, for real-time gameplay. Need image for this. Rebuild the entire collection trait by trait. It's just boxes, right? Okay, and then they had a, a bunch of other meme steps here, uh, kind of going everything. But they, they, they gave us a quick update on how the 3D models are coming with regards to me bits. Um, so, of course, we did. <laughs> <laughs> we are seeing some artifacting here. So again, you know, 3D modeling is going to take a long time. Um, you know, it is nice to see how they are developing out the brand IP and, you know, getting things updated to 3D. Um, so we're seeing a couple of updates here with regards to that. So, you know, it's nice to see that design process. Of course, we love seeing other side progression as well as the expansion of more IP. Um, and of course, a naked me bit. And then we also have, of course, the Meeb 
the naked meme among all the apes. Uh, <laughs> what dance is that? <laughs> but of course, just memeing out. And of course, they are all very, very different in here. So why don't we take a look? You know, got a quick update from other side. We'll revisit that over time as we get more updates. But why don't we move on to the Forgotten Runiverse? So, of course, it's always a good day to wishlist a Forgotten Runiverse on the Epic Game Store. So I know I covered this. I covered the, the trends of the Epic Game Store adding a lot more blockchain games, you know, and they're publishing and listing them. Um, and that's honestly a really big trend, right? We're seeing a lot of the major IPs in Web3 move towards their publish, move towards, uh, you know, mainstream publishing and Epic Game Store is probably going to lead that charge outside of, you know, just the initial self-publishing within, you know, Web3, you know, and, you know, kind of seeing that get built out with like Hyper and a couple of other of launchers too. So um, I know I've covered that in the past, but of course we can go visit the Epic Game Store and see what is going on. Um, of course, feel free to add to wishlist. I know I'm kind of blocking the way here, but uh, it's really nice to see everything about it. You can kind of see <laughs> everything about the Forgotten Runiverse here. That is coming pretty soon here. I will be playing that in the Arbitrum Arcade. There's only two chapters left, two weeks. So it's either next week or the week right after. So that's very, very exciting. So again, this is early access game. This is a blockchain NFT game. So of course, key features, you can mint anything you create. So any game, it can anything, I, any item in the game can be minted to the blockchain and to be displayed, traded, or shared with the world, right? So that includes resources, uh, resource. Okay, my fingers in the camera screen. So resources, items, cosmetics, everything's on Arbitrum, right? So again, except for the land, the land is on layer one, um, you know. But anyways, massive pixel art world. So if you like huge open world, especially when that update comes around, that's probably gonna destroy my life. Um, yeah, the map is pretty big, and so far it did have a sneak peek uh, to kind of update, uh, kind of take a look at what the new balancing looks like what the new meta is and i can't say any spoilers guys but I, all i can say is that it's good and i did enjoy it and i i will be grinding it out um so again feel free to uh feel free to wish list this on the epic game store you know for when that comes around so of course you can get all the updates from the runiverse game channel of course this has all the stuff that you need to know including a pin to post as well as you know always like constant updates with art stuff that's happening stuff that's coming in the future we always get like hmm chat do you think it's safe to enter <laughs> not for the monsters that's for sure so it's always nice to see new expansions and you know even you know we're working on gameplay loops that make sense not only for web3 gamers but for all gamers right with so again this is a free to play game you can literally just get started for free you don't have to you know have a wizard to play the game so i mean why not if you like mmrs if you like wizards if you like magic by all means Feel free to jump in with team experience from Ubisoft, Blizzard, Capcom, you know, all of the big names. They kind of understand the space, I'm sure. So, again, there's always fun stuff here. You know, of course, feel free to join the Wizard Wednesdays. You know, the founders are always there. Not missed a show in almost three years. Three years is a long time. S tier in terms of keeping up with grassroots and community. So, again, love seeing all the updates. Um, there's just a ton of stuff in here. Of course, I love my wizard building out my lore and stuff like that. So again, that's just my quick update, you know, kind of going over Azuki's, um, you know, the quick update with other side as well as, you know, keeping an eye on the Forgotten Runiverse and the Arbitrum Arcade. But again, I did want to say it's been about nine months since I started putting out over 180 daily Web3 gaming videos on, you know, Yuga Labs, other side meta, Mutant Hounds and Serum City, of course, Forgotten Runes and the Runiverse game. And then, of course, <laughs> there's just so much, guys. Like, I, I'm at my bandwidth, right? And we're going to figure out how to expand that at some point. But again, all the games, you know, playing out all the games, you know, even Wanderers, Critters Cult, you know, all the niche stuff and, you know, everything that's getting really big. But I will say that I am I have been working on putting together a couple of expansions, you know, some secret Let's Play series that I'm cooking up. Um, I am looking for any good FPS or action genre related projects. So if you have any uh, or any games in particular that you would like to see, definitely drop that in the comments below because I'm always open to exploring, you know, all the games that are good. Um, but one recent uh, update that I have been putting on the channel is I am very excited for a parallel TCG as well. So that you're going to see a lot more of that on the channel because I love you know playing TCGs and you've been seeing a lot of deck builder games and strategy. So I do like that type of stuff. But of course, 
I love everything inside of Web3. So uh, we'll, we'll get it built out, but you guys know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button. It always helps me create more content. And of course, I'll have some secret and amazing fun stuff coming in the future. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your week. Peace.